Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Wednesday, the 13th of September. These are the charts of the day. It wasn't the best day on Wall Street, kind of a mixed session. Um, markets were up and then back down in the afternoon sharply before bouncing. Uh, so it's kind of volatile these days. And tomorrow should be an important day with the uh, PPI coming out. But for now, let's take a look at some stocks that are looking pretty in interesting. The whole uranium group is starting to move. Let me show them to you. The three stocks in that group that we predominantly follow are CCJ, which has broken. It broke out like a, a month ago. It's been slowly edging higher, but today it started to make a little bit of a move. It looks like it could be a $45 stock on a swing. You will see more of a junior in that group. As you can see, it's run up through resistance as well, and now maybe headed for that six and three quarters to seven range also for a swing basis. It's broken through multiple tops and is now accelerating today, gaining about uh, 7%. Finally, UUUU, also in the same configuration, has a beautiful base pattern that's developed over the last year and change and could run to the double top area and test out you know, 11, 11 and a half area, which would be my swing for UUUU. And the strongest is obviously and the biggest CCJ. Carpenter Steel, now Carpenter Technologies, with a beautiful rising channel, broke out to multi-year highs, and today's action up 418 or six and a half percent tells me there may be more to come. I'm looking for 74. FNKO broke through not only the declining tops line out of the flag, but through the 50-day moving average. I'd be looking for at least a move to about eight and a half here, and then the gap at around nine and three quarters. IDAI. Uh, Exploded in August, pulled back from the kind of a falling wedge and then popped out today, jumping 33% on almost 2 million shares. Uh, it's thinly traded and has an inverse head and shoulders. Any move to the neckline could get you up towards seven. This could be a wildfire stock, so keep an eye on it. And then popped through key resistance and is in a rising channel. Looks like it's headed for six and three quarters. RCKT with an explosive move on uh, positive drug news, Rocket Pharmaceuticals. Uh, which closed at 15.29, ran all the way up into that into the 22 plus range, finished at 21.40, up 6.11, a 40% gain. Usually that kind of move and thrust coming out will get you to at least test resistance at about 24 and a half next. RDW popping out of a, a two month coil pattern, and now maybe uh, may, may have designs on a run at four, four and a half or more. REVG popped through a Long consolidation, multi-month kind of flag after breaking out in June. Um, there is some resistance up right up where we close, or a little above where we close at today's high. But a move through here could get you into the mid-teens, maybe even 16. SGML exploded today after a V bottom and right-handed extended pattern for him, and it, and it got up to the declining top line for backing off. But it gained 437, about a 14% gain. Um, they may be in a process of uh, looking at strategic alternatives in the stock grid being play as a result, the target is 42. And that that's it for today. A uh, quick look at some of the uh, stocks at detectuator.com that are potential extensions and swing trades, possibly even day trades. Good night, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow.